Hello, I'm Dr. Mike Nickerson. I'm corresponding author of a paper to be published in the journal Human Mutation entitled The UBID1 Parental Transferase Links Menaquinone Synthesis to Cholesterol Metabolic Enzymes. Snyder's corneal dystrophy was first identified in 1924 by two Dutch researchers, but takes its name after work by Walter Snyder of Switzerland based on papers published in 1929 and 1939. The phenotype of the disease is very striking and is shown in figure one from the paper. Uh, the phenotype arises from abnormal deposition of cholesterol and lipids in patient corneas, resulting in decreased visual acuity and usually requiring a corneal transplant uh, later in life. Uh, the photos in figure one were taken by Dr. Jane Weiss, who identified her first SCD patients in the late 1980s at the University of Massachusetts Medical Center. Uh, identification of those patients uh, led to a 25-year effort by Dr. Weiss to collect families from around the world, which would later enable uh, identification of the disease gene. I began working with Dr. Weiss in late 2005, and we published our results identifying UBIAD1 as mutated in SCD in 2007, a few weeks after a group from Canada led by Dr. Mark Samuels published identification of the same gene as mutated in SCD. Uh, the current work shows a novel mutation in six families with SCD, four of which are from a region of Finland uh, within 60 kilometers of each other. The mutation is a G to A change resulting in substitution of glycine at 177 with a glutamic acid. Uh, we show that the mutation in the Swedish Finnish families is likely a founder mutation. The four different families uh, share an identical haplotype across the UBI-D1 locus and the alteration co-segregated very nicely with disease in virtually all patients examined. Uh, we immediately were interested in the enzymatic implications of SCD mutations and working with Toshio Okano of Japan who recently published in Nature that UBI-AD1 was a first vitamin K biosynthesis enzyme. We examined wild type and SCD mutant UBI-AD1 to find that uh, vitamin K biosynthesis was reduced by 20 to 40 percent uh, by different SCD mutations. We performed molecular modeling on SCD mutant UBI-AD1 with Dr. Wolfgang Brandt of Germany and we show that the SCD mutation introduced striking structural perturbations to transmembrane helices and key amino acid residues in the active site. So molecular modeling uh, results coincided very nicely with our enzymology results. Uh, we went on to show uh, with Dr. Thorkel Anderson of SAIC in Frederick that UBIAD1 bound to two enzymes that are key components of cholesterol uh, synthesis and processing in cells. These are HMG-CoA reductase, which is a target of statins, and it is a key regulatory enzyme in cholesterol synthesis, and also SOT1, a key enzyme uh, in cholesterol storage. Uh, SOT1 uh, esterifies cholesterol for storage within cells. Uh, in conclusion, we have a novel alteration in Swede Finn SCD families. We have now uh, examined the global collection of SCD families, which totals 51 families, and we have found 23 different missense alterations. Uh, we think these results uh, have implications for corneal health, uh, vitamin K2 action in coagulation, and also uh, vitamin K2 function in the electron transport chain in mitochondria. Uh, enjoy reading the paper. Thank you very much and feel free to contact me with questions. Thank you.